Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to go ahead and demonstrate how to use the symmetric constraint. So we have our new sketch opened on the front plane, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to create and use the symmetric constraint, which is located right here on your tool ribbon underneath the constraints drop down menu. The symmetric constraint also has a shortcut key of Shift Q. And it's going to allow us to make entities that are symmetric uh, across a line or plane or edge. So without further ado, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. You can see at this point I have left the planes on. We're going to go ahead and create a line. I'm going to make it a construction line. And we're going to draw it above and below the origin. So right now this line is um, free to move about in the vertical axis so i can grab the endpoints and move them along i can't move it left and right because i've already applied a, a constraint so that the points are lined up with the origin but i can slide it up and down all we want we can't move side to side so what we're going to do uh, let's go ahead and apply a dimension to one side we'll put a dimension here to the from the uh, horizon up to the top. And we'll set that at five inches. And you can see that I know that I could apply a dimension to the other side. Um, and that would, without a doubt, uh, lock the location of that lower endpoint. Um, I could also put a dimension from the top to the bottom, which would lock the location of the endpoint. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that symmetric constraint and we're going to make the top point the same distance away from the horizon as the bottom point. So we're going to click the sequence is first entity, second entity, and then the mirror line. We can see now that this is fully constrained because I have a black dot on each end, and, it, and the symmetric constraint applies to those points. And the example, as we started off here, I had this at, at a one inch circle, and then draw another circle, and we can apply that symmetric constraint again. So we can use that on these circles. So the circles are currently, their location is the same because they are both connected to that endpoint. You see their center points are Black, but let's go ahead and make them symmetric. So I have the upper circle, lower circle, and then the horizon line is the axis of symmetry. And there you have it. So that's the symmetric constraint. It locks these two entities symmetric about an axis. Now, one more thing I'll show you while I'm at it. It doesn't have to be a plane. It can be any line. Uh, so, for example, I have this vertical construction line we created. So, if I come over here and put a circle over here, and then put another circle over here, I apply that symmetric constraint to this circle and this circle using that vertical construction line we created as a lot of symmetry. Now, those circles move together. So, there you have it. That's how to use the symmetric constraint. Good luck, have fun, and as always, keep being awesome.